What is up, guys? It is Yuki. No, no, yes, yes. Maybe, maybe some. What is up, guys? It is Yuki. No, no, yes, yes. Maybe, maybe, perhaps, perhaps. Sometimes, sometimes. On occasion, on occasion. Here, <laughs> I think I got it that time. And today we're gonna be opening up some fan mail. But before we get into that, huge shout out to MetaMats.com, made by us, designed by you. If you guys want 10% off of any mats off of MetaMats.com, enter in the code Yuki Jesus and you get 10% off of mats. You can also enter in that same code Yuki Jesus on LDBDuel.com and get yourself. 10% off of anything there as well. Best sponsors in Yu-Gi-Oh! So today uh, we have something from Thomas Suckley and we have something from Jacob Iniguez. Um, I'm going to be splicing these two openings with some openings that I've done. Um, I'm actually going to be um, splicing these openings with some openings I've done over the past you know, few months uh, to several months. Uh, the big stuff that I've opened, um, I don't always show um, and I don't do uh, mail openings, you know, every single week like I used to. But um, I don't show every single time that someone sends me an envelope with just something to sign. I usually just sign it and send it right back. I don't record, you know, every single opening. But the big ones, you know, anytime I get a big package in the mail, I do record those. And yeah, um, I have a whole New Balance shoebox to open. Uh, yeah, hopefully I don't have the address on there. If I have my address on there, that's fine. P.O. Box 214, Owasso, Oklahoma, 74055. Send me your Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. Um, anything anything cool you want me to show on camera? Anything cool um, you want me to sign? Like I'm always saying, you don't even have to send me stuff to keep. Uh, the fan mail rules are down in the description if you just want me to show something. And, you know, show something cool that you have, you know, and put your name on it and be like, this guy sent me this do a video on it and then send it back to you. That's possible, that's all in the fan mail rules and I've done that so many times. People have sent me rare cards and Yu-Gi-Oh magazines and just, I mean, everything in between and I've, you know, made videos on it, you know, talked about it, you know, just showed off the Yu-Gi-Oh history and then, you know, sent it back their way. And I'm very appreciative for those guys because, uh, you know, I, it's not like I'm out here buying every single cool Yu-Gi-Oh thing <laughs> that I can and I don't buy Yu-Gi-Oh stuff like I used to, so it's really cool, um, you know, when, when people send me um, valuable or just uh, retro, um, retro stuff that, that they're just not making anymore or even or even new stuff you know even new stuff that is just rare or odd um, stuff that I don't personally have you know in order to, to show you guys uh, yeah I absolutely love those uh, love those mail videos but yeah let's start with uh, Jacobs let's start with the smaller one all right looks like there's some return packaging in here perfect so this might actually be a card signing just just more card signing you know Oh, oh, okay, okay. So he sent me money for uh, postage, for any extra postage. I prefer, actually, I prefer what he did here, where it's just already done. You know, his address is right here underneath my hand. He wrote it down. I didn't write it down with my atrocious handwriting. It's getting back, <laughs> like, I, it's getting back to where it came from, and I, and I, and I love that. So this is going to have some instructions in it. This is going to have several instructions in it, because here's another another envelope, so I wonder if I'm sending this to two different locations. I'm gonna have some instructions, extra stamps for you, thank you. Let's get started. Dear Yugi Nono, yes, yes, baby. <laughs> see that oh my gosh I guess I do that a lot I mean why not make fun of my own name you know <laughs> just uh, plus saying Yugi Yugi Jesus is way shorter than you know the full no no yes it's <laughs> anyways how's it going my name is Jacob the last time I wrote you oh you have wrote me before I thought your name was familiar too like Thomas has mailed me like it, it I mean my name mailed me twice I don't know I, I'm bad with names the last time I wrote to you was when I gave you the Toon Dark Magician and the Red Arcana Dark Magician oh I do remember that which was a cool video I hope you enjoyed those cards. Yeah, I actually have the Red Arcana Dark Magician. Um, I can pull out that binder in my closet, but yeah, like I actually have like, it's, it's not like I hoard Dark Magicians, but I do just happen to have a lot of Dark Magicians, or, you know, a lot of blue eyes and just a lot of red eyes, you know what I mean? Like, just a lot of cards, classic cards, that I've just because I have a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. And I have them all together and all my Dark Magicians I have together. And I have your, yeah, your Arcana Dark Magician in with that one because, uh, yeah, I didn't have the red one. Yeah, matter of fact, I'm going to grab this right now. Your Dark Magician is right there. So I have, like, you know, it's not like max rarity stuff. Some of it, some of it might be and some of it is. But, um, yeah, I just, I just happen to have some Dark Magician stuff like this first dead ulti you know dark magician into different arts and whatnot but there's yours and then the next page i have 
yeah, more Dark Magicians and just random Vanillas, Two-Headed King Rex, you know, cards from the show and whatnot, and then, you know, this was good in Dino Rabbit back in the day, and then you just get into more, you know, random stuff I got in my binders. Since then, I had to leave the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! because of graduating college and taking care of grandmother. That was really sweet of you. Congrats on finishing college. Um, but still watch your content of why won't it read? <laughs> yeah, I, I do that joke a lot. I, I had played Nordics for years and made and made it and made it unbeatable. But now Nordics, but now the last deck I made Nordics and unbeatable. That's an oxymoron. But, <laughs> but now the the last deck I made and currently have is upgraded character deck of Joey Wheeler. Joey Wheeler deck with the Winged Dragon of Raw Xyz and Synchros. Xyz and Synchros and a Joey Wheeler deck. That's an very show accurate. It's not very cash money. <laughs> we have to play by Duelist Kingdom rules. <laughs> you know. Anyways, to make a long story short, if you would have time, would you sign a couple of cards for me, please? If it's not too much trouble. Oh, yeah, this is so hard for me. To, oh, God, it's difficult. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they are labeled as such. And, send, and on the actual card, yeah, and I'll sign on the actual card. I'm glad you put it on the actual card because I do ask, you know, especially in person when I'm signing cards, if they want it on the card or on the sleeve. Most people say they want it on the card. I will get like that one out of a hundred person that wants it on the sleeve though, so I do ask. The label is such a send back. Will do. Thank you for labeling everything. I love instructions and I, I love this typed out too because, uh, you know, previously on fan mail, I have people that write me and it's so cool that they write me, but they have handwriting just as bad as I do and I can't, I can't read my own handwriting. So, like, I'm not going to be able to read yours. So, like, ty typed, uh, the typed is so great. We'll enclose a return envelope. Want us to sign and give back with the Red Eyes Black dra Dragon as well as one. Having the hard sleeve with duct tape that's safe for you. So. Hard sleeve duct tape for you. Oh, okay, okay. So these are mine. Thank you. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to understand the instructions here. You are now his friend, which this infestation turned into totally awesome. Just kidding. Just imagine it does turn into another Levery Moth meme. Dude, I already, dude, I, I'm still, I'm still in the middle of like figuring out if beans are invading me or not. I keep hearing noises, but anyways, <laughs> thank you for taking the time to read my letters, sign the cards. If it makes it to fan mail video, nice. Yeah, well, dude, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to combine this with uh, other openings. Like I said at the beginning of this, finish, but you don't know that yet. <laughs> keep up the great videos and content you're doing great. Stay classy, my friend, Jacob. Yes, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds chapter is better than Duelist Kingdom chapter card games on motorcycles forever. Dude, whatever, dude, whatever. Whatever. Card games and motorcycles, I cannot stand. But um, why are there two return envelopes, though? Yeah, I've read this like four times, and I can't find why there's a why there's two return envelopes. I guess you just accidentally included two or whatever. Dude, this is gonna this is gonna get it. Like, yeah, you you killed you killed the packaging on this, yeah. I mean, covering this up. Yeah, that, that'll get there, guys. Then that's good. That's gonna get there. But um, let's let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Try not to. That one's kind of stuck in there. There we go. Ooh, guys, that's not first dead, but now I'm gonna I'm gonna read that like a fifth time. Make sure he wants me to sign all of these. I think he does, and he said on the card too. I'm just like, wow. That's not first dead, but that's a thousand dragon right there. Then we have another, yeah, the red dark magician. Very cool, dude. Go ahead and start taking this out of sleep since I'm gonna sign him. A harpy's feather duster. Serpent night dragon. Man. Once again, not first dead. Plus that one's spell ruler and that magic ruler, but still very cool card from the show. The winged dragon of raw. All right. Always classic. Another Harpy's Feather Duster. The, uh, oh, the Altars. Very nice. From Mama. Mama, we all go hell. Buster Blader, the Altars. Ooh, the Dragoon. You want me to sign Dragoon? You fucking mad lad. Yeah, I'll sign your Dragoon. That's so cool. And then, oh. Oh, do I have one of these? If not, I did. These BPT, yeah. Red eye, I don't remember what that's from, but man, the secret rare red eyes black dragons. Do I have I wanna get that binder back out? If I don't, if I don't have one of these still, I did, and these are very cool. I actually love that red eyes. The I mean the original art, but secret rare. You can't beat that, man. I know for a fact I still have a playset of red eyes that a fan sent to me. 
because they were his friends that died and I will never get rid of those. That was a very cool gift. Yeah, and so I had this page open earlier. Yeah, it is this page. Because there's your Dark Magician again. No, I don't have that secret rare red eyes anymore. No, I don't have it no more. I must have traded it or sold it or something. But yeah, those are the three red eyes I was talking about just a second ago. Yeah, I still have those. And then, of course, just any other red eye. You just, you can... Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't even need to explain this to you guys. Yu-Gi-Oh! players know that as a Yu-Gi-Oh! player, you just kind of get all kinds of random cards and stuff and you just end up with it and you don't know what else to do with it. Yeah, let's sign these and then see what he sent me. Very cool red eyes. Yeah, I love that red eyes. Dragoon. Fun fact, I've never played Dragoon in the deck because I really wasn't playing very much at that time. I'm still not playing that much, but you know, you know me, I go through my phases. Actually, just now noticing how much purple slash blue purple is in the background of this heavy, uh, heavy duster, heavy, heavy duster, <laughs> heavy duster, Harvey's feather duster, or it might as well be called heavy duster, heavy storm duster, that's the other one, and I do like that card, man, really, really great card. I'm actually gonna sign your serpent knight dragon over here, it's gonna be a little different, because I'm not gonna sign on his face. I guess, like, I kinda did that with the red eyes, my bad. This one I'll sign over here too. Sometimes I'll sign them on the opposite side. I usually sign them in the bottom left hand corner though. All right, let's let those dry off. Yeah, I saw that they were Japanese cards. At least, the, at least this one on top is a Japanese card. Japanese odd eyes card or whatever that, yeah, it's an odd eyes card, right? Pretty sure it is. Thank you so much. This actually, I have a Japanese and Korean card uh, binder. So thank you very much. A totally awesome. <laughs> like right before I flipped that, I was like, you know what? Like I think his letter said, and then yeah, totally awesome. Like I, it just took me a second. I'm like, really? I don't know. Like I, this is actually, this is actually my first uh, Yugi Nono video back. You guys don't know this. I'm oh, like, yeah, well, you're not gonna know until I you know, upload it. <laughs> but, but yeah, like I actually haven't, you know, uploaded and done any Yu-Gi-Oh stuff in a minute. And this is really cool. I like, I like, I actually don't even think I own a Ronin Tonin. A Ronin Toten, I should say. So yeah, that's that's awesome. I've, I've long traded all these or sold them. Um, I might have a Swap Frog. I know I got a Shooting Star Dragon. I got these for sure. Yeah, those are cool. And actually, uh, I think you just sent me my only copy of Totally Awesome. I don't think I have a Totally Awesome. I think I've traded and sold all those too. So I'm actually gonna show you where, where this card's going. This is my OCG card collection. It's not anything too fancy. It's actually a bunch of stuff that you guys have sent me. Um, one guy actually sent me a whole, at that time, like OCG DDD deck. Yeah, and this is where it ended up. Like I didn't get rid of any of those cards. They're still here, you know, like Maxi when Maxi was still legal. He sent me that with the deck and everything. And yeah, they're all, they're all in here, man. Still have all that stuff. This looks like those. <laughs> Just everything. One of my favorites that I got, um, this Fisher is one of my favorites because this is, it looks like a bait card. It's not actually, that should be sleeved. A lot of these should be sleeved. But yeah, that's not a fake card. That's a real Fisher. It's just very, very, very old and very, very, very Japanese. I um, mean, I have a very cool kunai with chain in here. I like, I should probably sleeve that as well. Um, this this is really cool. This tune table contents, one of my favorite ones that I've gotten. Altar, tune world. Yeah, I guess, I mean, why didn't I sleeve these before I put them in here? I don't know why, I don't know why. There's probably a reason why, but yeah. Just all this cool stuff, and I have like signed cards from fans. I love, I love that stuff. They, like, it's, it cracks me up. They want to make sure that I don't get rid of this stuff, and I'm like, why would I get rid of this stuff? <laughs> I, like, I like keep everything. Man, talk about not doing this in a minute. You know what I did? And it's gonna be on camera and everything too. It's like I, I bet somebody noticed. If not, I'm gonna like just show it in editing. But uh, where'd it go? <laughs> I totally just took his sleeve on accident just because it was sitting there and I wanted to sleeve this card up. <laughs> yeah, I like totally just took his sleeve. <laughs> oh my 
gosh, it's such habit. Like there's sleeves laying around. There's the foil. Just sleeve it up and put it back. <laughs> I just totally stuck the sleeve. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, like I said, it's been a minute. It's my first video back doing it, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'll absolutely send these back to you, though, man. Thank, thank you so much. I hope you got some entertainment out of this. I know I just did. Like it just hit me. Like damn, bro, you are rusty. Like you can't just jump back into this. Like you're doing, you're doing okay so far, but like. That, that was not very Yuki no no of you. <laughs> Got a letter. What a drawing. That is so cool. Who is that? I don't know who that is. Looks like a. Almost looks like Alucard or something, doesn't it? Or a character from. Uh, uh, from Helsing or something like that. I've actually never finished Helsing. I never I started it I've, I've seen Helsing a bridge. That's pretty funny, but I've never watched Helsing ultimate or anything I, That's a question I get a lot actually is like what anime has, have I seen and I've, I just it's pretty simple I've seen all of Dragon Ball all of Death Note and a few others <laughs> It's been pretty shallow when it comes to uh, Animu, I guess or whatever, <laughs> but uh, dear Yugi no no I apologize for both my bad handwriting and the fact that I have sent this to you so late between the craziness of this year and my, I mean, I don't ask for anything. <laughs> like, I mean, you guys send me cool stuff and I show it off. Or you send me stuff and I, I, I don't know, I just, I do, I do what you tell me. I just have the box open. Like, that. <laughs> but anyways. I really like to show off cool stuff on the channel, period. And um, I understand people might not wanting to, uh, give that stuff away absolutely so I you know usually uh, when it comes to like uh, rare items and fan mail and stuff people don't usually give me that stuff um, it's something that I show off and then send back to them it still does not excuse the long wait I, ins I inside are two play sets of the monarch tech both oh hey I know who this is this guy this is a guy from my discord server you were supposed to send this forever ago you know what I take back what I said a little <laughs> Inside are two play sets of the Monarch tech. Of course, you can do as you wish with them. Uh, probably experiment with other decks that don't like the extra deck. That's basically all you can do. And that's Monarchs and, what, like True Draco or something? Your options are pretty limited. Dude, thank you so much. I can't remember what your name is on uh, Discord, what your username is on Discord, but Dylan, thank you so, so, so much. And this drawing is really cool. Arlen, this one's from Arlen Hansen. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see what we got here. All right, so he included some return packaging. Awesome. Yeah, if you guys want me to mail stuff back to you, like if there's something that you want to show off on the channel that you don't necessarily want to give away, you know, something valuable, but you want, you know, maybe you have a cool Yu-Gi-Oh item that you just want people to see that you might not get around to making a video of or whatever, send them to me. The P.O. Box rules are down in the description. Um, I A lot of the time I, I uh, ask you guys to include your own packaging to ship things back in, especially if you guys want cards signed because you put your own address on here. Yep, and he did, and uh, it's gonna get back to the right place. You're not re relying on my bad handwriting or any miscommunication. If you send me a package to send your stuff back in, that the stuff gets sent back, to, it's that easy. It's that, it's that easy. But yeah, like I was saying, for the most part, sign cards and stuff like that. Send me your own packaging that you want. Um, yeah, sign in return. Is there a letter? Sweet. And a letter with instructions helps as well. When I get a letter with instructions, then I know exactly what to do. Dear Yugi, no, no, yes, yes, maybe, maybe. It's supposed to be on occasion, on occasion. <laughs> I've been a big fan of you, your channel and decks for a long time. I'm also grateful for your return to the game and you have inspired me to play glorious decks such as Herald and Cyber Dragon. It's the best decks. <laughs> Cyber Dragon anyways. Upon the time you had left, I would rewatch your old videos because they bring me joy and remind me to play the game casual along with the rogue decks like DDD Gal Galaxy Eyes. It's, it's all about fun. I've also decided to do a YukiTuber channel. Awesome. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't make the, be, be better than me and everybody else. Don't be weird <laughs> and be more consistent than me. Uh, outdo us all. But, um, and be most grateful for tips and following your glorious footsteps. Like I just said, be more consistent than me. Don't take breaks and just go and go and go and go. And then, um, I mean, if you do need to take a break, uh, that's okay, you know I mean? Don't be gone for too long and stuff. Like, I'll like just, I don't know, I'll go through phases where I like forget about Yu-Gi-Oh for a while and then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm Yu-Gi-Oh Jesus. I need <laughs> like, I, I do that, you know? Uh, it's because it's not life and it's not like the most important thing ever, you know? It's just something cool that we do and that's, it, you know what I mean? Sincerely, Arlen Hansen. P.S. I've included a few questions down below and some cards to sign and some to keep. Thank you so much. Favorite female Yu-Gi-Oh! character? 
Mine is Akiza from 5Ds. I like, um, what's her name, Alexis? I like the girl from uh, from uh, GX a lot, actually. Um, I like her better than Taya and Mai. I mean, I like, you know, the classics, of course, but yeah, the girl, the love interest, uh, or whatever, what she is, is her name Alexis? I think her name is Alexis, right? And, and, and GX, I'm so bad with names, even character names, man. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that, that would be my favorite one. Do you believe Cyber Dragon will be tier zero? Um, if he gets enough support, if we get a machine dupe searcher, um, it, the closest it was being to tier zero, weirdly enough, is when I was out of the game. But like, uh, that was, that's, that's a story I've told several times, and I'm, the, I was just done with the game at the time. Konami's still pretty PO'd at me about that, by the way. Yeah, they, they want they want tubers to show for them, you know, and I don't show for them. And I wasn't around when the deck I'm known for was best and when I should have been playing it all the time. Yeah, like the tubers keep Konami's brand, their Yu-Gi-Oh brand alive for them. Favorite fusion, Synchro, Xyz, Pendulum, or Link Monster? Uh, favorite fusion? Oh, gosh, you know what? Where's, hold on, where's my, where's my binder? That won't make this easy. I don't know, let's find out. Ugh. My favorite Xyz for sure is uh, Cyber Dragon Nova. By far, by far. Uh, my favorite Link Monster, uh, I really did like Link Cross. I know a lot of people didn't, but that was a cool card. Uh, I don't know. What is my favorite Link Monster? Angry Knuckles pretty good. Seeger is pretty cool. I actually do like Genius a lot. It might be Cleavor Genius. I actually do like that card, but I'm also very biased towards uh, machine decks and stuff. My favorite Pendulum Monster might be just good old Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. I have a playset of the ultis in here somewhere. Yeah, right there. You know, it might be just, yeah, I like I like my playset of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, so it might be that. Yeah, it might be that. I will say that my favorite monster of all time, what might be my favorite monster, is not even Cyber Dragon, it's Revival Jam. I freaking love that card. I need to get me a first dead one. But yeah, cool stuff. And what was the other question? Synchro? Uh, favorite Synchro? It might be Star Eater. I don't know, man. I really like uh, the old Synchros. I really like this one a lot. Yeah, Chaos King Archfiend. Ooh, that one's another one of my favorites. I forget about this one until I, until I see that I have it. An old ulti I've had for a long time. I don't know. I have a lot of, uh, a lot of favorite cards, man. It's hard for me to like pick one favorite one. I have a lot of favorite ones, but yeah, uh, let's just go with uh, the ones I showed you for now, I suppose. Although I didn't pick out a fusion, did I? Did I pick out a fusion? Uh, let's go Dark Law. <laughs> I don't know. I really do like Dark Law. I like, I mean, obviously like my Cyber Dragon stuff. Uh, but I like Thousand Eyes Restrict. I love goat formats. Um, I actually liked Norden. I remember uh, Norden. Like uh, I liked that. Um, I like uh, Seraphonite. I miss Brilliant Fusion. Man, you put me on the spot. Like I, it's hard for me to pick my favorite one. I mean, uh, another one of my favorite ones is the good old, you know, Shonen Jump Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. You know, have had my have had my eyes on that since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? It's hard for me to choose. Gosh, it's hard for me to choose. I, I mean. Um, if, but if you guys ask me these questions in the future, I'll just do what I'm doing now and just break out my binders and be like, here, let's see what I got in here right now. What is my favorite stuff? What, what am I playing? Or like dig out my decks and be like, what am I playing right now? <laughs> you know? Sign and return. What we got? What's he want signed? Ooh, Cyber Dragon Seeger. Sign the Seeger. Boom. Then while that dries, what we got here? These better be larvae moths. Woo! Those are way better than larvae moths. Bro, you are a mad lad. Whoa, the 10. Wow. Tournament legal, obelisk and slifer, the Egyptian gods. Not only that, Man, I need to sleeve this and be careful with it. This is a first edition. Shadow of, that's why Shadow of Infinity, right? It's the first edition, ultimate rare, Demise King of Armageddon. Wow. I've actually never held a first dead one before. I don't think I've held an ulti before, just ultras. This is one of those cards where I'm like, yo, yeah, I mean, I, I, been aware of this card's, you know, legendary status, but haven't been uh, exposed to like the original, the OG, you know? This card can only be ritual summoned with the ritual spell card, end of the world. By paying 2,000 life points, destroy all cards on the field, except this card. That is badass. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Uh, that is way cool. That is way, way cool. Arlen, thank you so much. That is insane. Dylan, Arlen, 
It's a good fan mail. It's a good fan mail. Wow. Wow. Okay. Now to the shoe box. New Balance shoe box. New Balance shoes. I wonder if there's some New Balance shoes in here. Some Yu-Gi-Oh New Balance shoes. <laughs> now, wasn't it like Reebok I, or Adidas? Nike? I, I, I actually don't remember. There was. I saw some new uh, Yu-Gi-Oh shoes coming out, but they were like kid shoes or whatever. Saw that on Twitter. I don't know. I don't remember who makes them. I don't keep up with all that stuff. I just check my messages. Oh, okay. Okay. It should be okay. Yeah, looks like it'll open now. I'm, have to, I'm making more work for myself, but whatever. What in the world is this, dude? What? What the? Subscribe. <laughs>